Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and today we're going to do a very simple speed test as far as how quickly these devices will boot up. So what we have here is an Android phone, a Windows phone, and an iPhone. And this is a Droid X, this is an HTC HD7, and we have the iPhone. And uh, they all have similar specs, they all have 1 gigahertz processors, or at least we think the Apple does. It has an A4 chip in it. Uh, Apple has not specified the actual speed as far as iPhone. They did say the iPad was a gigahertz, so we can only assume. Uh, but either way, we're going to do a speed test as far as the startup times, and that's it. So what we'll do is, as soon as we see the logo on the screen, because obviously I don't have enough hands to do this all simultaneously, so what I'll do is turn it on. As soon as we see the logo, uh, we'll try and start a timer here that's going to show us how long it actually boots from startup until the actual lock screen appears so that we can you know, unlock our phone and use it. Let's go ahead and try that out. I'm going to start from left to right with the Droid X. There we go. Turn the HD7 on and the iPhone 4. There we are. So let the race begin. We'll see what happens here. The droid's going nicely, although it was started first. So if they are that similar, we should see the droid first, HD 7 second, and iPhone 4 third. It's hard to say if that's really what will happen, but we'll see. Windows Phone boots really quickly. Um, it's about the same, and I started it after. It has no SIM card in it. So, I mean, it really doesn't count as far as lock screen. It doesn't come up to anything but that screen. So, you can see the Droid is, is good to go. The iPhone 4, there we go, finally. And now it's responsive. There we are. So, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and uh, show you who won, time-wise. Okay, let's power these off. So, hold the iPhone 4 down, the uh, sweep-wake switch, shut it off. The uh, HD7, this one being the politest as it says goodbye, and let's go ahead and, oh, I think, yep, yeah, there we go, let's power that off. And I'm not going to time the shutdown, I mean, that probably depends on what's going on, but uh, the Android does seem to take longer shutting off for some reason, but who knows why. Not a big deal, you're shutting it down, and that's probably pretty rare that you're doing that anyway. So, still going. If there's any other simple comparisons you'd like to see, I'd, I'd be happy to, to do them, as I have uh, these devices also have the palm and that sort of thing, but that one takes an eternity to boot up, so it's, it's a bit ridiculous. I don't have the Palm Pre 2 to, to test that though. So uh, other than that, please feel free to comment and let me know what else you might want to see that uh, nobody else might be doing. And uh, thanks for subscribing. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.